What's up guys, Guillaume Zeran, welcome back to another video, and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manual 2020 for stage number 10 of our Giro d'Italia playthrough with Bora Hansgrohe. Today's stage takes us from L'Aquila, probably near 138 kilometers for what is considered a sprint stage. According to PCM, according to the Giro, it will be a medium mountain stage, but it should technically end up in a bunch sprint. Apologies for yesterday's upload, uh, which had an issue with the camera. Basically, my webcam just went out of focus for about, well, I mean, eight minutes. Uh, and I didn't want to show it because it was not quality content in it. So I just wrote in coming San MS that it was dead. But apart from that, we'll move to today's stage, as I said, 138k. Following a very decent ninth stage, if you haven't seen it, please do go ahead and do so. And without further ado, let's try to get Peter Sagan yet another win on the Giro d'Italia. And it's a very average day for our team today, plus two for Tendulas being the only rider with a positive race day. Uh, it's not ideal, if I'm being honest, very much not ideal. Uh, Peter Sagan with a minus one. We'll see if we can get him a second win on this Giro d'Italia. Grosjean now wearing the uh, Maria Azzurra following yesterday's stage. As I said, if you didn't see it, do go ahead and watch it. Uh, minus two for Buchmann, minus two for Button now, minus three for Aliotti. Uh, I'm just glad there's nothing to play for in the GC today. There's been a crash, there's been a crash involving Hugh Carthy. Hugh Carthy, P6 of the GC, is down. Uh, thankfully enough, he's back on the bike. Uh, but he doesn't have any teammates right now with him. Jens Kukula and Chidi van Garden are waiting for him. Um, I mean, I guess it's good that he crashed early on in the stage. The last time we saw someone crashing this early was Remke Venable. And he, however, did not carry on with the Giro. Speaking of not carrying on with this Giro, Cameron Meyer out of the Giro without another crash involving George Bennett and David Decker. Where is George Bennett? I cannot see George Bennett. Is this George Bennett? I saw George Bennett crashing, right? Oh yeah, he's got the Kiwi jersey. Uh, but he's 20th of the GC, so he's not that much of a deal. Uh, and despite my efforts, Hugh Carthy is going to make a comeback in the peloton. I tried to drop him. No, really, uh, I was bored, so I just figured I'd add pace. Uh, sadly, it wasn't enough to drop the, uh, the Brit, who makes his return in the peloton. Last position of the peloton. Peloton, not the least. Well, I, just, I guess that's just karma. Groshar not just crashed. I guess I deserve it. As I said, karma, I guess I deserve it. Mashi Bernal just crashed with Ilya Viviane. Uh, Maxi Chese, who else? Has anyone else crashed? Uh, I swear, I saw about Kumonova. P3 of the GC this time is down. Mad. Someone else has crashed. That's quite important, apparently. Uh, oh, and I think that's just David Decker following his first incident. Okay, well. Um, Viviane is going to try and come back through uh, Bauke Molema. Sorry, this is the opposite. Bokemon is going to try and come back through Viviane. Uh, but in the Peloton, we've, uh, we've massively slowed down. Despite all of our efforts um, throughout the day, we will have a bunch sprint finish in the town of Foligno. There's a crash involving Alexander Cepeda, Luis Lon Sanchez, Demarquis Sabatini, the lead out of uh, Viviane on the ground. Victor Lafay, winner of stage 8 in real life, also on the ground. I'm just making sure that uh, in the Peloton, we're still safe. We should be safe. Anyone with drink? I think so. I think we've got one withdrawal. That's Cepeda. Cepeda, the rider from, uh, from Ecuador, out of the race. The young um, rider from Andronio Catoli. That is an L for uh, the invited uh, Pro Tour team, or Pro Conti team, should I say. Um, but we've got big um, things to attend, including this sprint in Foligno. 8k to go. Mashi Bodnar leading with a massive, massive headwind right now. And that is not ideal. We've got Peter Sagan in fifth position in this train. Make uh, being protected, sorry, by uh, the likes of Danielos and with Buchmann in the wheel. I don't want anything to happen to uh, our German leader. 5k to go, we will soon use our gel. Uh, I'm actually gonna do it right now. I'm gonna push Cesare Benedetti to 99, drop Mashi Bodnar, hopefully not on Peter Sagan. I'm gonna get blocked here by um, by Tobias Foss and I. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to uh, to, to change the sprint hold up because it's not. Sagan got uh, dropped, sorry, it is uh, Felix Groschat now. Alright, Danielos in the wheel of Cesare Benedetti. That's not exactly how I wanted this to go, but we're going to have to do without. Uh, we're going to have to do with this. Danielos is going to launch a sprint with 1.7k to go. We're in a very bad position. We're in a very, very bad position. Oh, there's too many corners. Oh, there's so many corners. Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. Forget, forget this sprint happened. Gaviria, Honewegen, Caleb Ewan, Nizzolo, Viviani, Muscati, Roman Segle. Again, Roman Segle. Vendram is completely blocking Peter Sagan, who comes home in 10th position. Um, and after having taken Chiclamino a couple of days ago, 
we're going to lose it once again. What an absolute shit show of a sprint today. Lidia was decent. Final two riders weren't. Um, and also me not knowing the parkour definitely didn't help. Uh, those two like corners in the final 8k. Sorry, final 1.8k definitely didn't help. Uh, meaning that we get 9th and 10th with us and Stegan respectively. Sprinting wise, or oh, uh, in the Chiclamino jersey, should I say. We're now 119, 51 points behind Dylan Hohenwegen, who reclaims the lead in this classification. We're going to have to uh, work a lot to get this jersey with Peter Sagan. GT wise, nothing changes. Pokemon uh, did, go his, did get sorry, his place back in the peloton. Same for you, Carthy. Bourman still in fourth place, uh, and the next stage will be a crucial one uh, between Perugia and Montalcino. Stage that will be on the channel this Wednesday after the rest day to make sure to see it. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already. If you've enjoyed the video, why not leaving a like down below? If you didn't, please leave a dislike and let me know in the comments and I'll try to improve on the uh, next videos. But I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day and see ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass me the funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next.